How's it going guys, Jacob here. Today I'm gonna to answer the question, what is velocity? The definition of velocity really depends what you're talking about in music. On a digital piano, velocity is simply hitting a note soft or hard. It's the velocity that you're actually playing a note. So if I play it very softly, that's a lower velocity. If I hit it harder, and then as hard as I can, that's the highest velocity which will get more volume, lower velocity gets a lower volume. Now in terms of MIDI, say if I were going out of this keyboard into a computer, into a DAW, or using a MIDI controller, those velocities, every single one would have a value, and that goes from zero to 127. So the softest I possibly could hit would technically be one, actually, because zero, you wouldn't hear anything, but one, and then as hard as I can hit, that would be 127. So when you're looking at MIDI data, which is you playing on a controller or keyboard and it's going again into a DAW, those are the values you will see representing velocity. On devices that send MIDI data, that send velocity like that, you have what's called velocity curve settings. Velocity curves allow you to change the way the instrument responds to your playing velocity. So usually you have linear, which is if you play soft, you get a soft note down at the bottom, one. If you play really hard, 127. That's from soft velocity to a very hard one. Now on the Nord, the way this is done is with keyboard touch on the piano. So right now I have it on just the standard setting, which is a medium kind of setting. So if I play softly, it's soft. If I play loud, it's louder. If I go to three, there's one, two, and three keyboard touch settings, which is essentially our velocity curve settings. Now I will play a medium intensity note and hear how it sounds. Now if I turn it off, it's a little bit softer, right? Now I was playing a little harder. Now I was playing the same intensity. Hear how it's different? So when it's on three, I don't have to work as hard to get a louder sound. I was playing the same velocity, the same hardness on the keys there, but one was louder than the other. So on digital pianos or MIDI controllers or anything that has touch sensitivity, Velocity settings or velocity curve, whatever it's called on that instrument, is a very important thing to know because it will react to your playing and change how the instrument responds to your playing. I know for me personally, if I'm doing just general kind of playing, something, you know, medium intensity, speed, not too taxing on my technique, I'll usually have it just a general linear velocity where soft is soft, hard is hard, but if I'm playing something more technical, maybe I need to play a lot of fast notes, I need to do it for a long time and I don't wanna get tired. Well, a digital piano allows me to do a velocity setting where I don't have to work as hard to get a higher velocity, a higher attack out of what I'm playing. And it works well, again, for fast things. So if I go back, I have to work harder to get those notes to pop out more, but with keyboard touch on pops out a little more. One thing to keep in mind though, is if you go to far extremes of velocity settings, sometimes it can make it not sound as realistic, especially when you're playing an instrument like this that's an acoustic instrument. This is a sampling of a piano. And on a real piano, you can't change how it reacts to your playing. It's an acoustic instrument that will only react one way. So you just wanna be careful, because if you do set something say too bright or too loud with velocity, it's all gonna end up sounding the same. But what you wanna be able to do is still have dynamics and expression like that so that it sounds musical. And that's velocity. If you've got any questions, please put those in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.